Hi, kitty cats. Today is June 26th, 2024, and I have bad news for people who want to exclude gender nonconforming people from the LGBTQ community. The Supreme Court issued an opinion last week about the fundamental rights of married couples. The case is Department of State versus Munoz, and I left a link to an article in the notes. Justice Sonia Sotomayor dissented, claiming the opinion is a veiled attack on marriage equality, which includes the right for same-sex couples to marry. At the risk of playing a broken record, I want to address gay men and lesbian women who believe I, as a transgender activist, usurp and pervert the battle they fought for their basic rights over the past decades. You've claimed I muddy the waters of the human experience by bringing gender into it, and that I dilute the argument inherent in the brick thrown by Marsha P. Johnson at the Stonewall Inn. Of course, Marsha P. Johnson was gender nonconforming, but let's set that aside for now. I teach that gender and sexuality are related, although different, and as a result I've had to ban several of you from my videos for screaming gender is not related to sexuality and I need to get out of your completely legally protected pond of human rights. But it doesn't matter if you believe the letters LGBT and Q all fight for a common cause. What matters is conservative rhetoric groups all the letters together as a common enemy. As a transgender woman married to a woman, it seems our fight is the same. Let's stand together. Please follow me, like this video, and share it with a gay man who may need it. And we'll talk tomorrow. Bye!